There you go. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, good. oh there it went. Oh. Come toward the light. Let me hold your wallet. Inside there. Can you see inside that? Um, how about you, I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Me and Wiley are going out of our comfort zone today. Yes, we are. We are. We've got a true barn find Chevrolet uh, that we're going to be working on today. It's got a straight six in it and it's gas powered. It's, it's kind of weird because it's got a fifth wheel on it. We'll show you all that. We'll, we'll take you a tour. We'll give you a quick, quick tour of the, of the machine. But um, yeah, you know, me and Wiley, we, gas is not our friend, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> but we have been striking out on diesels, yeah. so we're going to try to redeem ourselves with a gas engine. Why, I think we're just glutton for punishment or something, you know what I mean? But anyway, this is old, we still don't know what year this is. We've been calling around trying to figure out. Once you see some of the fender, the, the lines and some of the fenders and the hood, if you know what year this is, leave a comment below because we have no idea what year it is. We've been looking. Maybe we'll stumble upon a, da a data plate uh, while we're working on it. but. Let's take a look at it and let's get this thing uh, fired up. What do you say? Let's do it. Ram when parked. That's what he said, right? That's right. Drunk how long has it been? How long has it been sitting here? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. I think he actually did sit around fifteen years. Yeah. So, uh, fifteen years. We'll call it fifteen. Yeah. Why not? Fifteen. <laughs> ten. Ten. Hey, we well, give me now ten, now fifteen, now fifteen. But uh, yeah, they're only years, right? Yeah. But the thing about it is, uh, you know, floats stick, needles gum up, and all that stuff. So the the carburetor is is going to be what we're kind of concerned about right now. So anyway, let's get to it. Yeah. Cracked head, every valve rattles, oil leaks every time. That is such a cool bump. It is true. Really. That is such a. That's a nice paint that's, job that's on this a thing. Nice. What do you call that? A, I don't know. A grill of some sort. Well. It's a name. Yeah, I have no but idea. That's nice. I like the way that looks. Yeah. So look at this old engine motor we got here. The old yeah. motor engine. Yeah. Yeah. This is Chevrolet. That's right. It's got Chevrolet on it. That's right. Yeah, so we'll go and we'll take a look. I did go, if you'll notice, there's fresh fuel in here. That fuel, I've already, I just got back from the gas station. I didn't Man, film that part. I didn't know they made them electric pumps back then. <laughs> they were Probably. smart, wouldn't they? I'm going to go ahead and say that's aftermarket. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, let's take the plugs off and let's, uh, well, let's check the oil. The, uh, we know it's got a gallon of gas in it. And uh, let's take a look at the air cleaner and the, the radiator and... Let's see if it's locked up right Couldn't here. you look on the lens on the lights at one time and it kind of give you a manufacturing date on some vehicles? I have no idea. Well. Yeah, I, I don't know. A lot of help you are. Yeah, I think. No problem. Anything I do to help. Look at that thing. Look at that old fifth wheel. That's awesome. Yeah, the paint's in great shape. Obviously, it's been painted, but... <laughs> Whew. Got a key in it, Wiley. It'll crank then. Dog gonna ride it well. All right, Wiley, I'll go All check. Right. You gonna open that side or you, gonna, you just wanna take it off? The side? No, the hood. No. And the other side's off. Why not take this one off? This don't do that. It's bolted down. I don't know how to keep it up. Let's just go ahead and. Uh, you got it unbolted, Hank. Huh? It's bolted down. All right. Wonder why the other. I don't know, but I'll hold it. If we can find that. The dipstick's on your side. Let's see. Dark under this barn. It, yeah. Get my O light out. My O light. You could say 15, 10, 15% with my code. I think it's 10, HF10. I'll leave a link in the description. I'm telling you, these O lights. They're crazy. They're really, really good. Well, it'd be nice if we could find a dipstick, wouldn't it? Yeah. Let me look on that other side. I could have swore it was on this side, though. Hold on. Oh, look. Been a snake at the bit me. You know? It? Yeah. Oh, Wiley. Oh, man. This thing's making all. We're in good shape, Wiley. Clean, full. Yeah, no? Yeah. So the oil's good, we got gas. Let's check that water. All right. Let's see if it's got a little H2O in it. The, 
Oh, it does. It's, uh, we probably need to throw some water in this thing, Wiley. I've got some. Let me put some water in it. All right. All right. Hey, Hank, you mind bringing your... Okay. What's that? Tester, I'll get it. There's a battery in here that... Oh. May or may not be good. <laughs> what you thinking? I'm, I'm going to say it ain't good. This is that water that this truck will use and eventually that water will be gone. It will need to be replaced. Oh, yeah. You would have won, Hank. What's that? I would have won. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm a winner, Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they're talking to you, Chip. <laughs> they're winners. They're winners. Grandma broke them, didn't she? <laughs> yeah. Sure did. You need some nine sixteenths. I uh, probably need some of our cobbling. Yeah, two two vice grips, please. All right, I got you. I got you. That thing is. Fuel pump come on. Hey, I let your fuel pump come on. Did it? Yeah. When I, I'm, it's not on right this second, but when I uh, just touched them to each other. You gonna take these plugs out and see what the plugs look like? Probably, huh? I'm gonna get some liquid wrench right quick. All right. I heard something. Yeah, that's the fuel pump. Yeah. Well, if you're gonna do that, we might as well not let it run, huh? You want me to hit the starter? Oh. Just to see if it'll turn? That might not be a bad idea, huh? Okay. It turned like a quarter turn. It's jumping off here. not locked up. It's good. Okay. This thing's going to fire. I believe so. Throw me that cap, will you, Wiley? No, right there at your right hand. Thank you, sir. Hey, Wiley. <laughs> I didn't tell you this the other day. My, uh, my wife, we were we needed to use the push mower, which we never used the push mower, you know what I mean? Since yeah. we got the riding lock, the zero turn. Right. And my wife was like, uh, hey, the uh, push mower won't crank. 
And so literally I went out there and throwed some starting fluid down ahead, it cranked up or whatever. And I just like, I, I don't know why I found that so funny. You know what I mean? I was like, cause usually I'm just using starting fluid on, you know, big pieces of equipment, yeah. but the push mower work, but perfect. kind of funny stuff, ain't it? It is. All right, let's, uh, let's take that breather off that carburetor just to look down its throat. Look in its tonsils. Got to look in its tonsils. There, there should be some type of um, brace of some sort to hold this thing. Let me just lay it back. So don't hold, catch that. And that I won't. got it. Come on. All right. All right. Let me get my my wrenches. Let me do some investigating. A little single barrel. I wonder what top speed for this sucker was. 48 miles an hour. That ain't bad. <laughs> Hussein Bolt could outrun this thing. <laughs> Oops, I just did something. Alright, that's not sticking. Here's the throttle. All right, the throttle's not sticking. That's good. Okay. Is that is that like a uh, what is that? That's not a temperature. Is that a temperature? That's probably the temperature gauge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. The starters on this side. Yeah. It's got it's got another canister oh, of some sort. Starters on this side too. It's a dual starter. That's the Oh one. no, this is a, <laughs> yeah, this is the alternator. Yeah. I should have known that with a belt. But what's this other canister beside it? On the uh, firewall. Oil filter maybe. Hmm. No, why would it oil No, it ain't an oil filter. Like literally I don't see anything that goes to it. Where's that? Right here. It might just be a coffee can. It's a coffee can laid in there. With that's not. I don't know what that is. You know what it is? Got two oh, that? Yeah. Oh, uh, some, uh, some vacuum for the brakes. I bet you. Oh yeah. Yep. I bet you're right. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's let's take a look at the plugs. Yeah. Rats. Doggone it. Yeah, Wiley, I don't. Oh, let's see. No, they're really not deep well. Not deep enough? They might, I mean, they might be, I doubt it. But that's what happens when you ain't used to working on gas, you know? Right. Oh, Lord, I'm mercy, Hank. Did that just come out? I just undoing it just to look at it. What size is it? Mm. Seven eighths? Three quarter? I think it's that big. This, thing, this ain't been one on one. I don't know what I gave you. What size is that? Surely it ain't smaller than that. Is it do it again? What size is that? No, that's too small. The, it might not have been the first one. It might not have been the first one either. Give you a bigger one. Oh yeah. What size is that? And I'll see about 
Three quarter? Yeah. No. Is that what it was? 13 16. Yeah. Okay. You know, I just wonder. I know that's not air because there's not air compressor on it, but I know that's a pigtail, of course. Yeah. But it, you know, they got that pogo stick there. I, I, there for a second, it looked like flat face couplers. It is. It's Pioneer fittings. Hydraulics. Wow. Yeah, ag style, you know? Yeah. Huh. I see that. Interesting. Hold that a minute. I'm going under. What are you going to look for? I'm going to look at that transmission. <laughs> uh, that's a big old transmission under here, Hank. <laughs> I kid you not. It's uh it's the size of a this basketball under here. I can see it from up here. There's no floorboard. Oh. <laughs> well they getting a the bird's eye view of underneath the yeah. truck. Well let's let's fire it up and just see. It's got oil, it's got water. I'm trying to follow these. I'm going to look for these hoses right here going to the back. I think I wonder if that tank actually had something to do with those hoses going to the back. Can you sit, look up there and see what I'm with? What's moving? You look in the cab or the, the front end, the front end, the rear. I think the rear, I think that hose is going to what we was moving. Do it again. Yeah, that's coming out the back here. Okay, can you look up front and see yeah. what? Yeah. Yeah. Going that can? It's going, no, it's going inside the cab. Inside? It's going into this, uh, this, it's plugged off up here. Right here. Okay. Interesting. Look, look at, oh, that's the brake booster right here. Right under the running. That's door. right, yeah, I saw that. That, that tin can's got to be some kind of vacuum. I know somebody's going to comment. Tell yeah. us just exactly what This is the brake right here, or the clutch right here, right? Cylinder. The, the yeah, I wonder, is that the hydraulics for the clutch? I bet it's a hydraulic clutch. I bet it is, too. Yeah. Well, we know nothing about this. I know. We don't, <laughs> we don't know anything about anything. <laughs> Basically, we know We're nothing. losers, man. Basically, we know nothing about nothing is what we're telling you. <laughs> uh, Look at this little doohickey. What was that? Like a cab? I mean, uh... I wonder what the weight capacity was on this. Yeah, the fifth wheel is actually kind of, it's a weird design. It's almost like a, like a, um. Yeah, the kingpin yeah. didn't lock in like the, right. the normal, the I guess it just goes in there and. Right. Drops in like a gooseneck. You know the, let's see, there's four points of contact, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, <laughs> and I'm up. So this, I'm a little concerned about. I'm a little concerned about this. Yeah. I mean, it's just barely, just barely making contact in there. Right. Actually, I just pushed it in another half inch, probably. Let's just see if the lights work. Okay, let's see if the lights work. Well. Maybe we can get the lights working. I can't believe I didn't bring it. You want to try to crank it? Well, let's see if the lights work, and then we'll crank it. Okay. It's going to crank. What do you mean try? <laughs> Uh, yeah, hey, the chicken light came on up top. Burp, 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 burp. Yeah, that's working. What button are you using that one on? Uh, it's the pull button right here. Oh, that's awesome. Is the dash lights working? Uh, no. <laughs> oh, I, 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 but that is a cool dash, hey. But well, no, I saw the uh, I saw a reflection on that chrome. You saw the brightness from me. Walk oh. toward the light. All right, see the head. Let me see the headlights. 
I think this thing was registering 100 mile an hour. You got one chicken light up top. I ain't. What? It's got, if you, I don't know if you showed it or not. It's got 20,246 miles on it. Have you tried those headlights again? I still got them on, Hank. Oh. I'm on, hey, I'm dimming them. <laughs> no, we've only got one light work. What about blinker? Okay. No. No. All right, I'm on. Put it in neutral and fire that thing up, man. Let's see. Micro brake lock. That's parking brakes. I wonder is that the choke? You see it moving anything? Yeah, I hear it moving. Let me see. Do it again. No, I don't see it, nothing moving out here. Okay. That is such an awesome dash. We probably need to make that fuel pump work again. What? Well, listen, Hank, listen. Yeah. Oh, now you got the second chicken light on. Ready? Fire it up. That, that battery sounded weak. I don't think he's getting any fuel. The fuel pump quit. I don't think it's getting any fuel. The fuel pump quit working. Okay, now. Hey, you, you want to take a little bit of that gas and pour it in the carburetor? I can. I sprayed it with starting fluid. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just don't feel like it's getting any, I just don't, let me get a screwdriver. You know, I, I don't know what bad plugs sound like, but it didn't, it sounded like it, all it needed was fuel. Really? That's awesome. Next to the gear lever. I wonder, what, I wonder if that's what you pull to go in reverse. Or if that actually maybe gets you a, a higher range. Oh, that's good. There's somebody that can tell us what's going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's no. Yep, we're not getting any fuel. Turn that, turn that fuel back on. No, it's not drawing. All right, go ahead, stop. It's not drawing fuel from the tank. Well, that thing making a lot of racket. It'd be no good, ain't it? Um. Let's see something. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. See? See what I'm saying? Okay, you had that off and nothing. Nothing. Oh, well, <laughs> there you go. I ain't a gas expert, but I think you need fuel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Mine. Bypass the pump, maybe. And just see if it fire, you know, cranks over. Oh, there, there, you, go. there you go. Here you go. That might be the problem right there. Yeah, it looks like it, don't it? Yeah. What? In, I guess it's setting that gas along that corroded it, huh? Yeah. 
Don't scratch that new paint. I was just thinking <laughs> that when you said that. I know somebody else was saying, no. I believe it's going to work this time, ain't it? All right, I'm going to switch it on. You tell me to switch it off real quick. Because it's coming this time. Well, I'm going to try it. Ready? Yeah. How oh, it changed tone. Did you hear that? Ho, ho, ho. I'm just going to run it straight to the carb without the filter. Huh? Without this. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to stick it over. <laughs> Actually, you know what? You got to have that clamp. Yeah. Stupid clamp. That clamp's stupid. Alright, so we found one one issue. I don't have right another. There it was. Yeah. That was I guess it sat there and the gas had just I believe this thing's gonna up. fire. Huh? I believe it's gonna fire. Well I do too now. Let's take the uh Let's just take the distributor cap off and just make sure the points are clean and all that. The rotor button and all that. Would you know? I have that? no idea what I just said, by the way. <laughs> Would you know what a clean points look like when you see it? Yeah, I th but I, did. I actually brought a piece of uh, sandpaper. Hammer cloth. Yeah, no, sandpaper, like, you know, 1200 grit or something stupid like that. Yeah. So let's take off that before we get too cray cray. Okay, hey. Hey, I found a distributor cap. <laughs> All right. That, uh... Okay, hey, it's going in. I'm going in. Cover me. I do know that the button has to point a certain way. The what? The rotor button has to point a certain way. Oh, that's... I, it's, that's the time. That, yeah. Right look there. At, yeah. Oh, oh, there it went. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Well. What do you think, people? <laughs> Leave a comment below. I got you right there where y'all can see it. What y'all think? Oh, there it comes that. All right. Let me just clean. Ah, oh, that looks clean too, don't it? Yes. I think you messed it up when you turned it on. No, I didn't. <laughs> that does do something with the timing, though, for sure. Yeah. So I've to so I've been told. It does. Okay. I think it looks good enough. Good. I'm scared now that I've missed it. Well, even the timing won't. I mean, it will just it'll still fire. It just be all jacked up, right? No. Ain't that how it works? No. Maybe. Maybe years ago, the maker of this truck said, "There's gonna be some YouTube <laughs> guy come along." We can't make it too complicated. I can't see. I you can't see. I'm on fire. <laughs> help, me. help me, Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> that just, they just don't feel good at all. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Not on the cap. The, the, this side feels good. But the cap side, all of them just feel. Look, that, that is actually connected to something down there. When you turn it, you know, it's a plunger that goes into. You think that's? I don't know, Hank. That goes. That goes to this. It's, no. Wait a minute. No, it goes, it's a thin line. Let me see. All right. What do you I think? wonder what this. I wonder what this is. I mean, it's got dirt daubers all in it. You know. Let's see. What's it go That's to? It. That's yeah. it. Yeah. You see me? You see it right here? Old fuel line. Oh, that's, that's the old, old fuel, fuel line. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's that makes sense. Pump. The manual fuel pump's right there. Yeah, that's that it. makes sense. Yeah. Okay. You just turn this key? Is yeah, just turn the key. You probably let it build up a little bit. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, Hank. Ready? Hold your mouth right. <laughs> this thing's gonna fire. You got some ether? Is that choke on the down? Why is that still running? There you go. Uh, is that choke down? Come on. Right, hold on a sec. Which one's the choke? I got it. Go ahead. You want me to hit the throttle while I'm doing that? Yeah. All right. So you can take that coil wire off and lay it against. Also, we take this and put some gas in the carburetor. Oof. We're gonna burn the man's. <laughs> burn down. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah. Got a rag or something. Last time we did catch a, a, a um, auger truck on fire, remember? Yeah. I got blue towels in my. And you can lay that coal wire. You can lay that coal wire against a, a so, something again, <laughs> <laughs> something metal, and see if it sparks. You know what I mean? That does. Well, you got some more down here. Yeah. You, got, you you can't see it from your angle. A little pool of gas. Kind of like what Jed did, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I watch, oh, oh man. Watch it. <laughs> I got fire extinguisher in the truck. Okay. Ready? Yeah. There's no spark. Hang on. Hang on. Need a Mountain Dew bottle. Oh, it's coming right out of the bottom, Hank. Go ahead. It came out of, I don't know where it came out of. Do it again? Let me see if I can see it coming out where it comes out at. I think it's coming out of, no, it's coming out of this whole, this yeah. plug right here. See that plug? This right here. Yeah. That's where it's coming out at. There ain't no plug in it. No, there's plug in it. I just don't know what it does. Is that Schiebler carb? She yeah, that's where it's coming out at. <laughs> Tell you what, we're gonna start doing. Uh, we're just gonna start doing like lawn care videos or something. <laughs> let's, do, let's do restaurant where we can break the restaurant. Yeah, let's go do food reviews. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's come, that's exactly where it's coming out at. I ain't a smart man, but I doubt that's gonna work with that doing that. That means that the that means the float is stuck. That's what that means. So let's take off, let's take this off here and look at all that. Okay, Hank's going in. Going in, cover me. He missed the distributor. I mean, he was working on the distributor cap. Now we're going to cobs. I, I, I can't bend over. <laughs> <laughs> You see it? Okay. Oh. 
We were having, we were flying over Afghanistan one night, and the crew I was on was, uh, they thought it would be funny to have a contest to see who, who could drink the most rippets or powered monster rock star drinks, right? Energy drinks is what yeah. I'm trying to say. Yeah. And uh, so they, the crew back there, there's about four or five of them. Well, my master sergeant, he was, uh, <laughs> he come up to me. I said, he said, Colonel Hamilton. I said, what? He said, sir, I got a, I feel like I'm having a heart attack. And I said, what do you mean you feel like you're having a heart attack? He goes, I drink eight, eight of those rock stars oh <laughs> for the competition. They were. I said, God, I said, if you make us turn this jet around, I'm going to tell your parents that you're, you're a moron. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, it's pretty funny. So. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, see? See how the fuel's in the bowl there? Yeah. Let me put them in there, Hank. Let them see. Yeah, this ain't... Oh, look, that's metal. That ain't no worky. Have y'all ever seen the inside of a car break? Well, these... I didn't know they made them out of metal. I thought, you know, I thought they were plastic. This is back when... Maybe, oh, see, maybe I can adjust that. I just did that, you know what I mean? Let, hold on, I think I brought some carbon choke cleaner with me. We'll at least spray it down in there. So, Hank, what happened to the... You okay? Uh, I'm okay, Wally. <laughs> Wally, I'm fine. <laughs> Come toward the light. <laughs> Let me hold your wallet. <laughs> yeah. Hey, knucklehead, guess what happens when you spray? Hey, uh, so what happened to the rock star guy? Oh, yeah, he, he did all right. Watch y'all's eyes here. Watch out, guys. Here he comes. I need to get, uh, I need, this is what part I need to clean, so watch again. Hold on. Cover y'all's eyes. There's all kind of like jets and stuff like that you're supposed to be able to get into. Golly. I can't see. Use your good eye. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, these are jets and floats and needles and seats and the gasket looks good though. Yeah, I don't know anything about none of them. Let me, because uh, you're supposed to be able to, there's the jet. Um, look at that hole's clogged right there. I don't know if it's supposed to be or not. Which one? This one right here. I got a pick set. But I'm pretty sure the reason it was... Because I think that right there is some type of release. Like, for when it... Um, All right, Hank. So that right there controls the fuel, the gas going to the carb. That's correct. That's correct. So what does your accelerator actually open when you accelerate? Oh. Um, so when, it, yeah, it opens up the the jet. I don't know. Okay. You know, you needed that out. I thought you yeah. might know. There's a piece back here that I'm supposed to screw back on that somewhere. Oh, there it is. All right, let's put her back together. This was really exploratory surgery, wasn't it? Yeah. This is a true barn find, though. Yeah. You know, Hank, this truck was probably brought over here about the same time that uh it, it probably was 12 15 years ago yeah because that gas don't go on that quick yeah that's right you need to that hose i wouldn't think
Maybe it just needed a little bit of fr fresh uh, breath of fresh air. Maybe. Man. That wasn't hurting them, but that's good. Well, we got a little storm going out here in the junkyard. It ain't getting no spark. All right. Pull the top one. Okay. Yeah, you should be able to lean it, put it up against, no, put it up against the um, valve cover or something. Okay. And you should Let be able to see it spark. spark. All right, ready? I don't know. No, no. Yeah, don't hold it. I'm not. That's why I want you to wait. I mean, you can. That makes good TV. That ought to do it, ain't it? Uh, that might be close enough. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. See how it sounds the same? Hang on. I'm just not sure. Here, you turn the key, I'll hold it. It's all right, I just... Okay, try it one more time. All right. No? No spark at all. Yeah, so that means, that means the coil is bad. That means the coil is bad. Cause that mean, because the coil. Hey, Hank, is it possible the coil is not switching on? It, it, yeah, we should be able, let me get a uh, voltmeter on it. Okay, yeah. I got it. Oh, you got the voltmeter? Look at you. <laughs> right, what I put it on, on the my, black. On the black. Here you go, Hank. All right. Can you hold that? Yeah, I'll tell you if it reads anything or not. Right. Zero. Well, you got to switch on? I know. Can you turn it on? I'm on, I'm on the red, where the red wire comes here, and the... It might be a bad coil. I don't think it's getting fired. That's what I'm saying. All right, let's follow this wire here. So here? Yeah, let me switch it. Well, I'm on, I know I'm going to have to switch it on because that puts... A... Okay, Hank, see if you got some fire there now. No, I don't. On your uh oh on this? Yeah. Yes. No, no. Uh no. No? Let me try this. Let me look at the... Right, I'm going to spin it over and you look at that. All right, all right. Hold on, Wiley. Okay. I mean, I'll tell you when. It's real good for your knife. No. Nothing. So let me take this back off. Take the rotor cap off. All right, so you take this off. Look, you can see, yep. Oh, I didn't even see. Oh, it only goes one way, thank goodness. No, which way was, which? The camera was on, wasn't it? Yeah, because it has to go back the way it came off. 
All right, this is, I don't think I'll get electrocuted here. I don't see how you could. Yeah, there's no, no power to it. This is what, this is what opens and closes right here. You know? Yeah, and that's where it said file. You can see some corrosion right there. Let me, let me do that. But look inside there. Can you see inside that? Um, I don't know if it shows up on camera, but kind of corroded in there too. All right, let me get, um, We know that's hot. Hey, huh? Look, I got this hooked to the. I got this hooked right to the starter. So we, we know that's hot. Yeah. So if we put that on that, we know that's hot now. You want me to spin it, or you want to wait till you do that? Okay, we can try that. I mean, sure. All right, go ahead. Uh, what that like? Uh, yeah, that's definitely um, no bueno for my Spanish speaking friends. What's that? That's some, there's definitely corrosion in there. I can well, see it. But why isn't that giving? Oh, I don't know. Hey, just to ask you a question. Why are you doing that? It, shouldn't it be the other way? We should be spinning it. Don't don't that generate fire? What generates fire? No, the spark plugs is what. Okay, how does turning it over activate that on the spin? How does it know it's spinning? I, I don't know. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh, we've done turn this around to where. I don't know what. I don't know how this was. Okay. We don't get that all. Can I spin it over? That's right. Yeah. There it goes. It only goes one way. Okay. Uh -huh. Boy, they knew they'd be dummies back then. <laughs> Definitely ain't our forte, is it? Mm -hmm. uh, but I, here, here's my question: What makes that spark? What what rotates that? That's just like a pack, a hot pack that energizes that, right? I, I think so. Well, how can turn it that spark? Uh, dude, I, you're asking the wrong guy. I'm just, that's I'm sure, that's a, a rhetorical <laughs> question. I'm sure that's a rhetorical question. Uh, How are we going to know if it fires? Uh, it, you'll hear it, it'll sound different. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know, dude. So I don't know. But that coil, I, my assumption is the coil is bad because I think, I personally think you should be able to take that coil wire off, lay it against a block or a valve, good piece of metal, and it have spark when you turn it over. Okay, Hank. I guess it must be getting fired back through this wire or that's the ground, but how does it know the engine's turning? It looks to me like that's just a source of power energizing that. Does that not... Well, so the power supply comes off the starter, right? So I guess this right here, if we, I wonder if you've done this. Well, we could have took that whole thing off. 
I wonder if that does anything. I don't think so. We need to try it and see, but I don't think so. No, because it's got to have that. Right. Can make the... Right. No. No, it wouldn't do that either. That's kind of dirty in there. Look at that. <laughs> we probably need to call somebody that knows what they're talking about. <laughs> You've done that. It's still coming out. I saw it come out. Yeah. Well, we'll put the gas tank back in. Yeah. Well, if we get them. All right, one more time. What do say now? What do say now? Huh? What do say now? What do say now? No spark. I give up. I, I mean, I honestly, I mean, I, I have zero idea what I'm doing. Me either. Yeah. So, I'll tell you what we'll do. Okay. This is pretty close to, this is pretty close to Wiley's house. And it's a really cool, cool piece. Yeah. So let's let's go over let's go over what we what we know and you guys leave comments about try this, try this, try this. Yeah. And then we'll come back and try your comments and see if that works. You wanna do that? And bring a mechanic with us when we come back. <laughs> we you know, we did a collaboration with Wes uh, here Where while, is he? Where is Wes when you need him? You yeah, know what I mean? He's been perfect for this. Um, yeah. So Anyway, all right, so we know we've got a, a leak in the carburetor. Let's look down here and let me show you. Let me point to what's leaking right here at the tip of my finger. You got that? Okay, this is what's leaking. So how do I fix that without a rebuild kit, right? And so you've seen the inside of this earlier in the video. So we can bring some more carb cleaner if need be. And now on the other side, on the uh, starboard side, the, how do you, we don't understand how to get coil, a fire to the coil. So do I need to bring a new coil? I'll take a picture of that because coils are pretty cheap. You know, they're, they're not expensive at all. And somebody knows, let them email you because it's going to take a lot of reading. <laughs> they can't, I don't think we yeah. can. True. I don't think they can dumb it down that fast. <laughs> yeah. Send me an email, hank at <laughs> hamiltonvillefarm.com. Hank at hamiltonvillefarm.com. And a diagram. And a <laughs> well, I don't think we need a diagram. Why don't we get on YouTube and see? Yeah. Well, we can, because that's what our viewers are for. That's they, right. I want to involve them in the community. Absolutely. Yeah, I can get, anybody can Google it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So. I wonder, has anybody ever Google YouTube us to see how to start something? No, God, I hope not. <laughs> Oh, okay, so let's do that. Do I need to add a new coil? Do, uh, okay, and we'll bring a deep well 13 16 to clean the spark, plug, spark plugs with, and then some emery cloth to, or some sandpaper or fingernail file or something. I don't think you need like a new rotor. We'll get it button. running, we'll get a forklift and move this out of the way and drive it. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, man. Yeah. Still got air in the tires. Yeah. But, um, Anyway, yeah, help us out. Help us figure out how to do this. We obviously are not, uh, you know, we don't do a lot of gas stuff. We, we said at the beginning of the video that we were out of our league here. Yeah. And uh, I don't think, I think it will run when uh, um, we figure out the spark situation. Fuel, air, compression, spark. Or is it combustion? Compression. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right, I look forward to you guys' emails. Help us out, will you? All right, I appreciate you guys watching. Take care. God bless you guys. Next on Hamiltonville Farm. you guys watching the video remember there's discount codes in the description box below we'll see you in the next video god bless you guys